How's it going today guys? Welcome to another Timberline Productions video. Today I'm actually going to be starting a video series on MIDI controllers like this Disaster Area DMC-6D. Now I decided I wanted to make a video series because I feel like MIDI controllers in general and MIDI for guitar pedals hasn't really been that well explained. And I think we really could all benefit from a video that kind of sums up a lot of what I've had to learn either on my own experience or reading online or having to read this manual. So I'm going to be doing a few videos. This first one is actually going to go over how you're going to hook up your MIDI controller to all of your MIDI devices and what MIDI channels are and what MIDI through is. So just to cover uh, in general, we can first, first, well, actually, let's go over just an overview of this device. So what this is. Um, is a, like a pedal, it takes 9 volts in, it runs, it doesn't require a lot of milliampage. I don't have to put it on a high current one on one of my um, Voodoo Lab outputs. But um, over here is going to be a 7 pin MIDI cable, also works with 5 pin MIDI, or I'm sorry, 7 pin MIDI jack, works with both 7 and 5 pin MIDI cables. Uh, this is going to be a USB in for changing the software on this because there you can get software updates or change to a different custom firmware if you decide you want to get that from Disaster Area Designs as well. This red one is a jack for the expander switch, which I'll go over in a later video. And then one of these, I don't remember which one, one of these is looper level control for the Strymon timeline, and the other one is just an expression that works on all channels. So not a big deal, because I don't use those, uh, and that's uh, gone over pretty well in the manual if you decide to check that out. So starting with, what you're going to do is power it up like you would a pedal, there's not going to be any signal chain um, jacking in with this. This does not ever, your guitar signal never goes through one of these. It just sends MIDI commands. So then you're going to hook up your MIDI out, or I'm sorry, your MIDI cable to this, which acts as a MIDI out on the pedal. And then this, which is just, um, if you get an expander switch with this pedal, that's the expander jack, but I'll just leave it plugged in. So. What you're mostly going to worry about right now is this. And so what this is, is this is the MIDI out on this MIDI controller. And then what it goes into is whatever comes first in your uh, MIDI chain is what's going to take that in on the MIDI in jack. And then it chains from the MIDI out on this one to the MIDI in on the next device in the chain. And then from the MIDI out to the MIDI in on the next device in the chain. Now. You can send a program change that only affects one pedal or two of the pedals. Like this one right here, it only changes two of the pre or two of the presets on this one, but it doesn't do anything on this one. And so the reason that's possible, the reason you can have like a tap tempo only affect the uh, one pedal, the reason that can happen on just one cable chain is because of this thing called MIDI channels. Now, at least in this pedal environment, there are 16 uh, MIDI channels that exist. This one only sends commands on four MIDI channels, um, but there more do exist. So what a channel is, is it's like a language, like a language you and I would speak to another human being. So for example, MIDI channel one, well this, that's a, a one for preset, but ignore that. So MIDI channel one, which is, we'll jump into the globals here. MIDI channel one would be like speaking English to the timeline. Um, this one, is on MIDI channel two. So this one is speaking like sp Spanish. And then we'll jump to the MIDI channels up here. MIDI channel three is like speaking French. So this one can say can say one phrase in English and only the timeline will understand it. The only only the timeline will receive a command. This one can say something uh, on MIDI channel two and have it have the M5 only understand it. And then it can say something on MIDI channel three like it's speaking French to the big sky and only the big sky understands it. So the channels is actually how you can use one cable chain and have commands affect only one individual stomp box because it's like different languages. It's also how, why uh, MIDI through boxes can all just be wired together. I've seen uh, a guy who took one MIDI cable and he soldered uh, another cable into the same uh, jacks. And because it was a split, it was, so it was a split cable, but because channels exist, it's, they all still worked fine all the devices he has them hooked up to. So another thing to be weary about is MIDI through, and that's gonna be over there. You're gonna wanna make sure you have MIDI through on on all of your devices. 
and the manual for each individual controller should cover like what are these like what these other MIDI uh, settings are. And so as long as you have MIDI through on, that's also going to allow you uh, whatever goes whatever commands enter through this, but this one ignores to pass further along down the chain. So the reason that's important is obviously you're going to ch be chaining multiple effects together. The M5 does not have MIDI through support at all on it. That's why it's last in my chain. I don't know if the Line 6 M9 and the M14 uh, have MIDI through, but I know at least the M5 doesn't, which is fine. It just had to be last in my chain, and I couldn't have more than one of these controlled on uh, this without me getting like a MIDI splitter or a MIDI through box or wiring up my own cable. So that's just one thing to be wary of is that at least this one I know of does not have MIDI through. Uh, these two do, so it wasn't a big deal. It was able to just go from the timeline to the big sky to the M5. And you also don't have to go in order with MIDI channels, just so you know. Um, even though this is on MIDI channel 2, it can still be last in my chain, be the third item in the chain, because MIDI through works like that. So hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good overview on just uh, MIDI through, MIDI channels, and hooking up multiple devices to your MIDI controller. Uh, the next series should go over setting up command, or I'm sorry, the next video in this series should go over setting up presets on the DMC-6D. That's going to be a bit more device specific to just this one. But uh, go check that one out if you guys are looking at any of the disaster area designs, uh, display type uh, models, and that'll give you a good idea as to how it all works and setting up presets. So go check out that video. Thank you guys so much and have a good day.